welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and today I have Damon with me and we're doing part two of our pumpkin spice taste test. If you missed part one, check the description box below and I will link that there. And without further ado, let's get into tasting. Which one would you like to do first? <laughs> he wanted to do this one in part one and I'm like, no, I want the other one. So that's weird. That is so weird. These are, I'm sorry, I didn't even uh, share this with you. They were all shared in the first video, so I've completely forgotten. Um, these are Hanover's, Snyder's of Hanover, pretzel pieces, pumpkin spice flavored. Be my guess. Oh, that was way too big. Oh, they're sweet. That tastes like sugar snack cereal. Mmm. Something else it tastes like though. Or um, is that what it's called? It's a sugar bear. The of. frog smacks. Honey smacks. Mmm. That's exactly what these taste like. Are you tasting pumpkin though? Not a hint of it at the end, but. Mmm. Man, they know how to do pretzels. Pumpkin pie, uh, spice. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of pumpkin spice in here. It tastes more sugary sweet like cereal. It's good. It is good. Oh yeah, I'm getting the pumpkin spice now. It's in the aftertaste. You Absolutely. Smell it in the bag, but mm -hmm. you don't know. Let's get this out of the way, shall we? <laughs> he was like, when he saw this that I bought it, he was like, I'm not trying that. I'm not a marshmallow. But they are um so kind of person unless it's flamed. Yeah. And I love marshmallows. I will take one of our candle lighters. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If I really want a roasted marshmallow and I'm just not going outside to do it. Toothpick, lighter, and I burn it and I eat it. So I do love marshmallows. I don't know. But these are really, really cute. They are shaped like pumpkins. These would be cute in a little clear jar though. In a coffee bar. The dog's smelling something. I don't know what she's doing. I can't do that. Help a girl out. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Burnt stuff. <laughs> Not the bag. Smells like burnt fire. <laughs> Maybe they've already been to the campfire. Cheers. Yes, all things pumpkin spice. It's not overpowering either. I would put the whole thing in there. Those are actually really good. Sorry, I love marshmallows. Isn't that adorable? Hmm. Those are really good. Not bad. I can't eat any more than this because. Woo. They are very sweet. I would give it those probably a four out of five. About three. Just because okay. I don't, I don't, it's a marshmallow. So. Mm -hmm. Flavor's good stuff, but it's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> Said so in I, the other video that I forgot to buy milk for this, so we're not big milk drinkers. And mm -hmm. uh, Michaela's in school, I don't buy almond milk as much. Oh wow, these are really coated nice. So like, they're very orangey. I guess smell bad. Eat it. Mm. That smells like dog food. <laughs> it does. Oh, I got some out. I'm sorry. You're fine. I'm just... Cheers. Those would be good in there. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not overpowering. No. I think these would be perfect in milk. As a matter of fact, after I buy some milk, we'll try this and then I'll leave a review in the description. I'll let it that. 
or I'll leave them in the comments, one or the other, but I will give an update on how this is with milk. It's not really pumpy in here, though. I mean, it is a little bit, but I think that um, that's what I'm tasting. I'm tasting more nutmeg than anything. It's not bad. It's not bad to be getting milk and mixed mm. up. Definitely. I think these have the potential to be a 5 out of 5. So I'm going to take that leap and give them 5 out of 5. Four. 4 out of 5. With the anticipation. Yeah, with the anticipation that they're going to be fantastic with milk. Oh. Like All right. We have two things left. Neither one of them you like. Did we already? Oh, yeah. I was like. Where the heck did the other stuff go? Like. You don't like M&M's that much and you don't like... Yeah. I definitely do not like her stuff. I do not like Little Debbie products. They make my teeth feel gritty. They're just way too sugary. But we have the pumpkin spice rolls. And, whoa. We have M&M's white pumpkin pie. And I found these at Target. You're going for that one? No, I'm just... Oh, there's a cute package. Let me show that. This is really adorable. So, this would be really great if you need to make little goodie bags for your child's daycare or That's your child's Halloween school camera. class. Oh yeah, this would be cute in Halloween bags and your little buckets to hand out. They look just like every bit of fall. There's leaves. I don't know if you see the leaves on there. A little, but on the back side there's leaves around the back too. That is just so cute. I love that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry. These are really adorable. Packaging Dana Strong with this one. I just smells like a little Debbie tree now. See, that's the thing. They all taste so sugary. No, there's no real flavor to me anyway. <clears throat> All I taste, Cheris, I, all I taste is that funky icing, and I'm just, mm. Mm -hmm. It's good, but there's no. The sponge is so thin. I like him. Well, that's why I brought him, because he loves sweet. All sweet stuff. And that's just regular cream. There's no spice in that. Mm -hmm. It's good. There's no... If you like sweets, you like that. It's not overpowering. It's not... Sorry. This stuff's a mess, though. It does not taste like pumpkin spice. But it's creamy. If you're a sweets person, it's... Well, yeah. If you like Little Debbie, you'll like that. It tastes like the... I'm a pumpkin pie spice snob, and these things are not up to par <laughs> for me. Oh, it just tastes like a very thin sponge. I'm not tasting any spice in it whatsoever. Maybe on a different day when we're not tasting some, you know, everything that's supposed to be pumpkin Dang spice. Them. There's nothing in that, but it's it's, <laughs> it's just it's not over sweet. But for a snack, like after dinner snack or. In your lunchbox yeah, for like, work. Yeah, yeah, definitely at work time will be. Those will be gone in a week. Well, since the temperatures are dropping, that would be a good snack, like after my wraps and stuff at lunch. That would be like a. I don't know. Just I give it five out of five because I like that stuff. So. And I'm going to give it a two because I will never eat that again. It was okay to have those few bites, but. It's the so. texture of fermented. Per, <clears throat> texture of fermented. What am I trying to say? The <laughs> pudding. Persimmon, persimmon pudding, it's just like you thought yeah, that. It's the texture of that, but I don't know. It's good to me. If y'all know what persimmon pudding is, you'll know what he's talking about. If not, I'll try to find some kind of description of it um, and link it below. So we're going to try our very final item, and that's M&M's white pumpkin pie. Oh, my gosh. White? Yes, but... Hmm. It so white. it's just saying that probably the inside is going to be white. I'm going to go on a limb that's going to be like... Like candy, white chocolate. Candy corn. 
Well, I hope not. I don't like candy corn either. I better do. I had some gourmet candy corn one time, and it was so good. And it was like a bag like this for five dollars. Woo! -hoo! I don't know. They're the big ones. So the shell to inside ratio is not right. So if it's going to be a, it needs to be thinner. So we have like an off-white, like an eggshell color and orange. No. Yeah. Those are. What was I saying? The shell. Oh the yeah. Shell. I'm worried about the shells and whatever ratio chairs being equal. Oh, man. That's pumpkin though. They did hit the flavor on it. Yeah. Not the white chocolate though. Yeah, I don't like white chocolate. I knew it. When they said white, I knew. They should have just left it alone and done it. It is cool. Pumpkin. But they couldn't have mixed it with chocolate. It's like trying to do whipped cream or something with it. Mm. Woo! Mm -hmm. I love sweets, whatever it is about it. Sweets. And you eat, you eat white chocolate too, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that's too much for me. I eat gumballs, candy things, whatever you talk about on a daily basis, and those are not for me. <clears throat> it, it tastes yeah. like a very cheap white chocolate. And if you like that stuff, I mean, people are going, I mean, you're going to like the M&M's and stuff. That's fine. I mean, I like M&M's, but I like the Halloween ones. And, and you can tell right now, I'm not eating any more of them. So yeah. that's telling you something. <laughs> I only took a bite of that second one to, to show the inside. I thought it was different because that would be with that, but it's still going to be the same taste, isn't it? Yeah, they're going to mm -hmm. be the same. Can't. That's why it says white. That's just... Yeah. Well, that did not end on a high note at all. I'll go back and eat the marshmallow. <laughs> I will say, this did have pumpkin flavor. It was very faint. Yeah, but then you got the white chocolate. The white chocolate overpowered yeah. it. So I would definitely save your money and get cookies and scream M&M's. Those there, I think the white chocolate made it. Once you got in the pumpkin and then you hit the white chocolate, it made it more of like candy corn. Mm -hmm. And I'm not. Yeah. It almost had that flavor. We were thinking that too, so. So just to recap, these are a big fat zero for me. I'll give them a two just for the fact that if it wasn't everything else has been tried out and everything, I think those would be all right. But for me not to eat more than one. Oh, we only had four. Is oh no, we didn't. That's no two for I that. I can't count. Um, these I highly recommend. I'll give it a four on that. These five for me. And then these were so good. These were really good. I would actually buy these again. Give it a five on those. And then we will comment below later after we buy milk with these because I feel like, I feel I like these are going to be good. Probably three or four right now. And you put milk in there, I think it'll be yeah. five. And they are limited edition, so if you can find them, go ahead and scoop them up. I know they had this one, and then they had another flavor, and I wish I remembered what it was. I don't remember those. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have tried any of these snacks um, for this pumpkin spice season, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And again, I will link our first video down below 